Hello, let me show you how to transfer data from your old phone to Samsung Galaxy A16 5G. So, what you can do is use one of the Samsung apps that is called Smart Switch that allows you to transfer data from your old device to your new one. Once you go over here, you will need to scroll down and choose to continue. Then once again, scroll down and allow. And of course, you will need to download the same app on your old device as well. So over here, we want to choose to receive data since we want to transfer data from your old device to this new one. So on this, this, this device, we want to receive data. Then we need to choose what is our old device. If it was another Samsung Galaxy smartphone or if it was iPhone or iPad. In my case, let's say I was using Android. So I'm going to choose the first option. And then we want to decide if we want to transfer by using the cable or wirelessly. Of course, you can follow uh, these instructions by yourself. They are pretty easy to follow. In my case, I'm gonna choose wireless as I don't want to use any cables. And now we need to get connected with your old device. Now, if you don't have smart switch yet on your old device, you can tap over here on this text to get smart switch on your old device. Then you want to choose either the first option, of course, or the Android phone or tablet. This depends what you were using. So if you had a Galaxy phone before, then you want to choose the second option. If you just had any other Android phone, then you want to choose the first option. You will get the QR code, which you need to scan on your old device in order to get the smart switch. You can also open the Play Store and then search for smart switch in order to install it. And once you install it, you can uh, open it on your old device and over here you should be able to connect with your old device after that simply follow the instructions uh, You should be able to choose what you want to transfer and you should be good to go now If for some reason you don't want to use smart switch or it doesn't work for you Then there is also a good alternative that I can recommend you and it is called send anywhere so if you search for this app of course, you will need to download it on both of your devices, this new one and your old phone as well. Uh, you can install it pretty easily and it is also pretty straightforward and easy to use. And you should be able to transfer pretty much everything, especially if you transfer from Android to Android. Then in that case, you can even transfer apps for the most part. And there is no issue with that at all. Uh, if you had iPhone, then you can still use it, of course. Uh, but for instance, you cannot really transfer apps as Android uses different apps. So let's open this app. And of course, you want to open it on both devices. But the initial configuration is pretty much the same. So you want to agree to terms and service as well as the privacy policy. And then you want to press confirm. You want to, of course, grant access to the storage because we need to somehow transfer all these files. So they need to be detected. There we go. Um, you may allow notifications and if you see this information about updates you don't have to um, accept them you can just select not now and then press ok over here we can also use Wi-Fi direct so if you want it you can use it and now over here let's say you are on your old phone what you need to do is simply select what what you want to transfer at the top you also have categories but you can start selecting files that you want to transfer. And let's say I want to transfer these photos only. Now, in order to transfer it to my new phone, I need to select send. I need to tap on it. Then you will see this code over here, as well as the QR code. So you can scan the QR code inside the app, or you can use this digit code. Now on your new phone, so on your Galaxy A16 5G, what you need to do is choose receive. And then over here, you can enter the code or you can tap on this QR code in order to scan the QR code that I mentioned. And after that, once these two devices are connected, you should be able to easily transfer everything that you have selected. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.